level 8 baby dragons, they do work, guys. Welcome back, guys. War is Ferret here, coming at you today with a brand new Clash of Clans episode. Today, we are going to be spending all time in the Builder's Village, and then I'm going to be showing you guys uh, an attack strategy that I've been working on lately. So, let's hop right into it, because I don't want to waste any time. Keep this video nice and short so you guys are not missing out on the rest of your days. Alright, so, first of all, we're going to hop into Builder's Village, and I just want to take a look here, guys. My baby dragons are going to level 8. So, you're going to be using them today in the Builder's Village, these level 7 baby dragons. Which I, I think is just crazy, the level of them. And, uh, we're going to be seeing how well we can do. So... What I want to do here is I want to grab some barbarians and then some baby dragons. Hopefully these barbarians can take out the, um, like these archer towers and stuff. There's a mega bomb that's going to go off. I'm going to rush in with those barbarians. I'm going to let them take out that gold storage. And now I'm going to rush in the rest. Make sure they come over here to this side where the archer tower is. And I'm going to start swarming my baby dragons around the bottom half of the base. So unfortunately, I left the air, def the air defense, those firecrackers, up and running. Which was not the best uh, outcome. I was hoping the barbarians would take care of that. But unfortunately, baby dragons uh, are probably going to get picked off now pretty quickly. Because that firecracker does unbelievable damage. And especially since these baby dragons pretty close to each other, and they're not in the rage, but now look at them, they're far enough away, they are in the rage again, taking out that crusher, and they are going to go around to the perimeter of this base and take care of the rest of those buildings, and these level 7 baby dragons, people, they do work, so, huge recommendation, upgrade your baby dragons in the builder's village, if you are not yet at uh, builder hall 4, I would upgrade your giants and your archers. That is what works for me extremely well when I was back at Builder Hall 3. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is the first time I think I've tied at a 100% in a long time. That's right. So we have two minutes of those to train. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you guys into a battle uh, over here on the main base. Over here on traps, load the expos, and we will hop in and start looking for a map. So I want to talk a little bit about this new army. It is a P.E.K.K.A. healer army. And I have to give credit to the Donald for showing me this attack strategy a while back. But I have not been using it lately because I was trying to perfect the Lava Loon. I think, I mean the Queen Pop, which was is basically a Lava Loon. But I think I have that down now. So I'm going back to this to make sure I can gain some Dark Elixir. As you can see, I don't use any Dark Elixir in this army except for those Earthquake spells. But you're going to need to request one in the clan castle because you can train three of them with three wheel spells and then you can get a fourth one to take out the walls. So as you can see, one, two, three. I'm going to take out those walls right there. And look, there's a clear path to the town hall right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the king to tank, just like as if it was a golem in my Valkyrie attack. And then I'm going to spread some wizards out, drop some wall breakers in, get a little bit better of a funnel. Then I'm going to start dropping my Pekkas. I've got a dragon in the clan castle, some more wizards. Queen, Rage the King, two Pekkas, four healers right there. And they're going to start swarming into the base. Look at this, guys. A beautiful funnel. So that's exactly how you want to do it. You want to use your Barbarian King as the tank in this attack, because the Pekka is just too useful to just waste going around the base. So, yeah, we're going to keep raging this stuff in the middle. Those healers on the P.E.K.K.A. <clears throat> that P.E.K.K.A. got into the center. And this is the kind of attack where you, you are going to be able to get to the very core of the base. You will not 3 star most likely. This is those like this is like that 1 star Russian base kind of attack. Because, I mean, like you saw right here, I got I got straight through the center using my earthquake spells. But as the last couple P.E.K.K.A.s die around the outside, it's only going to be 60-70%. Uh, I mean, but actually, this attack is looking a little bit better than normal, so 73%. We still have a P.E.K.K.A. alive in the middle, but those healers, that's the whole purpose. If the healers, these P.E.K.K.A.s just go forever. It's crazy. Alright, 80% now. We still have the Queen's ability left, but all the P.E.K.K.A.s are down now, except for this one, which is about to go down. Yep, there it goes. 
And now the sealer is going to go over and help the archer queen, but is then going to get taken out by a, uh, what's it called? A seeking air mine and an air bomb. So I'll rage up our queen, and then she just takes out those last couple of buildings. We'll end the battle, keep her health alive as long as possible. So 400 gold, a nice little payday for us there, using the P.E.K.K.A. Healer attack strategy. Check it out, guys. I'm going to be featuring that in the next upcoming videos. That's the attack strategy I'm going to be using. And all you need to do is request for an Earthquake spell. And then really any troops are fine. If you want to uh, get some Wizards or some Valkyries or any kind of splash damage troop that you want to put behind those P.E.K.K.A.s, that's great. So I'm going to chuck another one of those armies in there. Go back to the Builder's Village. We have our baby dragon army cooked back up, and we're going into another attack. I'm really far down. I have not been attacking the Builder's Village. And as you saw, in the last five videos, this is my... In the last six videos, this is my second Clash Clans video, so I haven't been able to upload Clash Clans as much as I have the Clash Royale videos. But I want you guys to leave down in the comments which ones you prefer, because I want to be uploading what you want to see. So, here we go. Uh, on this base, I'm going to use some archers to take out this firecracker. And then, I guess, some more baby dragons. Okay, ready? So, drop one archer here. There's no bomb. So I'll drop the rest of them. Hopefully they'll attack that firecracker. There they go, taking that out. And now we can go one, two, three, four baby dragons. We've got one on the Tesla, taking that out. These baby dragons are under the rage. Once that one dies in the, cent in the center, I'll be able to drop another one. There goes the arch tower, and all the air targeting defenses are down, so this looks like another three star, guys. I mean, look at this. This is unbelievable. These level seven, soon to be level eight baby dragons, they do work, guys. Honestly, it's, I mean, it's ridiculous. You saw, it, it, that was not a very um, hard attack to execute. I just took out that firecracker since it was on the corner with some archers. And then those baby dragons, you surround the base, make sure they're far apart, so they will go into their rage. Now, I tried them as soon as I got them at level 1. They were terrible. Level 2, they unlock the ability. And then, as you see, further on, further on, level 7, these baby dragons, they are just crucial. So that's what I've been using lately, guys. Just the all baby dragon attacks. I've been pushing up pretty high with them. I was using all archers today, though. Just trying to get the chips one per one stars because uh, I don't know. That's what I kind of felt like doing. I didn't feel like thinking too much. But uh, yeah. So what do I want to talk about? I want to talk about the iTunes giveaway. Remember, I have to hit a hundred subscribers and. The subscriber rate has slowed down a little bit now Now that most of the people I know have already subscribed, and now you're just slowly recruiting, like any YouTube channel should, just slowly recruiting people who are actually watching these videos. So, thank you so much to, to if you do not know me in person, and you are watching these videos, even if you're uh, from, my, from one of my clans, and you're watching these videos that I don't know you, that is great. Make sure to tell your friends, because I don't know about you, Please leave a comment down below. The comment helps your score in the giveaway. Uh, tell me what you like. Have you learned anything? Are you getting more tips from Clash Clans, Clash Royale? You have any questions? I might even be able to do a video on it, all about it. Like, someone needed help with the dragon attack, so I did that. Someone in my clan was trying to learn the lava balloon attack, so I did a couple attacks, a couple of Clash Clans videos towards the very beginning of my channel about that. And right now, my friend asked me about how to do some proper baby dragon attacks. So that's what I'm showing you today. Uh, yeah, so make sure to leave comments. Helps the channel, helps you guys out. Again, if you are interested in joining my Clash of Clans clan, it is Cousin's Revenge. Uh, we have, you can, it's invite only, so all you have to do is request to join. You don't need a certain amount of trophies. And we can accept you. Just say you watch Wars for its YouTube channel. And we will probably let you in. Oh, uh, what else? Cl my Clash Royale clan, Loyal Royalty, shout out to them. I do not know the leaders, but remember to go check out XX Panda YouTube, XX, and then Chaos YouTube. They are two Clash Royale and gaming channels that cer are currently in my clan, Clash Royale clan, where that free treasure chest is for me. So, um, 
yeah, go out, check their channels out, and because they post some quality content too. So we're gonna hop into another one with these level seven, soon to be level eight baby dragons. So this is a very spread out base with the archer towers in the center. But look at that, guys! The firecracker is under construction, so we should be able to just completely obliterate this base. I'm just gonna circle it in baby dragons and hope for the best. Zero percent so far, but as but as these baby dragons start to come a little closer together and lose their rage, they are gonna they are gonna gang up on buildings, but they will lose their rage. So there's one archer tower that is just went down, and we have two baby dragons in the center now. We have two at the top, two on the right. One baby dragon is taking is going after that broken firecracker building. But now they are all under a rage. They're far enough away. 92%. Look at this. The last baby dragon taking out that archer tower. It's going to be another three star taking the town hall out at the last second. You could see there for a second it was a 100% zero star. I mean, look at that. That was pretty cool. But we are going to wait for this attack. Eight level seven baby dragons. And when they start going, and when they're level eight in a day and 14 hours. I'll be doing even better, and then I think that is the max for town, for Builder Hall level 4. Then we will continue upgrading the rest of those troops. We will then, um, let's see, can I upgrade these barracks? I don't think so, right? Yeah. The cannon cart is Builder Hall level 5. So that was another victory for us. He got a 2 star 74%. The baby dragons were able to take home the W for us there. Uh, what, what's the next? If we go back to the village... I believe, did I get an earthquake spell? No, I did not get an earthquake spell. But I will be right back when my king and queen are done sleeping. And I got an earthquake spell and some clan castle troops. Okay, we're back. We got some clan castle troops and earthquake spell. And um, our king and queen are back up, ready to attack. And we are going to hop right back into it for another P.E.K.K.A. healer attack. Trying a three star this one. Hopefully, even though this is not a three star attack strategy, hopefully, looking for a three star maybe on easier town hall nine. Or if we see a town hall eight, we're gonna go for it because we want that loot bonus or the five star bonus. All right. So as I'm looking here, I just remembered while I was waiting for the clan castle troops and such, a member of my clan shared a replay of three star unbelievable loot. So I'm gonna show you that to you. I'm going to show that to you guys real quickly in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, so look forward to that. And, yeah, we're just looking for a base here up in Masters 2. The, the loot in Masters 2, it, it's, it's all right. I mean, I haven't found a, a heavy loot base in a long time, but the, the bonus is what it's worth. All right, so this base is a very open base. No need for even earthquake spells. So... I mean, I guess we'll put it around the Dark Elixir storage here if we were to get into the core of the base. Our Pekos would be able to take out that Dark Elixir storage. I'm going to go my king as the tank, right? With some wizards along the outside. And I'm going to drop my queen right here. Some a Pekka, too. Two healers, some more wizards. The Pekkas, the clan house troops, the healers. And now I'm going to start sending in the wall breakers. Hopefully they will go for the walls that actually are holding us back. It looks like they will, but they will not be able to get through it as a, a bomb went off as they were about to get through our wall. 26%, I still have a rage spell left with my queen going after the middle, and the dragon is, got, is heading into the core of the base. Uh, we just took out the enemy queen, and... Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna rage over here by the Barbarian King and this lo and these two P.E.K.K.A.s that are still surviving on the left side of the base. See, we did get one P.E.K.K.A. into the core, and instead of just going around taking out the Expo, he was able to bring home the Dark Elixir for us. 51%. We have two stars now. The Archer Queen still has her ability. I'm gonna need that. Hopefully take out this Expo and these Teslas in the core. I will rage the Queen after she takes out that Expo. Right now, with two Teslas shooting at her, there goes one, there goes the other Tesla, look out, we are gone. Now only a mortar is in within range, and that Arch Queen will clean up those storages 
We're a solid 60% two star, and we got a lot of dark elixir from that raid, bringing us up to 73,000. 73, and as soon as this attack wraps up, we might even, with the loot bonus, uh, get over 74. And especially with 663 left in the base, the Arch Queen can move to the right and go for that dark elixir drill. Instead of the wizard tower, we will be in luck. She will. That Dark Elixir Drill looks like it has the last of the DE on this base. She will take it out. We got all the Dark Elixir, but there goes our Archer Queen, a 64% two-star. We got 300,000 of each, almost 4,000 Dark Elixir, another 69, uh, 690 from the loot bonus, 94% of it. And we are above 74,000 Dark Elixir. So... I'm going to go into the Builder's Village, attack one more time with all these level 7, soon to be level 8 baby dragons, and we will watch a replay, and that will be it for today's video. So, for this base, you know what, again, since the firecracker is in the center, I'm just going to surround it with 8 baby dragons. Right there. 8 of them. 5%, 9 I'm just gonna, there's no, there was no skill involved in this raid, and so far they're all still raged, they're not too close to each other, but it looks at the top of the screen, those are gonna clump up, yep, there they go, they're all out of the rage now, 53% though, they're gonna get rid of that, um, archer tower at the top of the screen, and we have the baby dragon at the bottom, getting taken out by the firecracker, but hopefully gonna, not even gonna get a shot on that tesla, wow, okay, so when this baby dragon dies, there will be one in a rage on the town hall. He will take that out. 87%, two stars. He's on the firecrackers. Is he going to take that out too? Look at that. Down one hit point left. One baby dragon left. Takes out the firecrackers. All there's left is the Tesla. Oh, 96%, two star on the builder's village. Very close attack there, but I don't think I was three starred. Let's see. The opponent is still attacking. Jade from Red Fire. Let's see if they can do as well on my base as I did on theirs with these level 7 baby dragons. So, if you are in the Builder's Village and you are looking for some new attack strategies, upgrade those baby dragons once you hit Builder Hall 4. I You unlock them at Builder Hall 4 and I'm still Builder Hall 4 and they're going to level 8. So, unlike the normal base where anytime you unlock something, it might go up two two levels at that town hall. Or like the P.E.K.K.A.s, I know you can go to 3 while you're still at town hall 8. Um, I think the witches can go to two at town all night. But, oh, actually, I think the archers or the giants might be able to go to four when you unlock them at town hall four, three or something. I actually have no idea. But, as you can see, eight levels you are able to upgrade it while you are still at the same builder hall level. So this guy is taking forever, which tells me it's probably not going to be a three star because that means they probably have a couple troops outside the edge. And the three stars, the only way they can beat me, and I'll take a tie. I just don't want to lose trophies. I want to push up back up into the 1600s. I don't know how I fell so far behind. Shout out to Clint Nation right there. He is over 3,000 trophies in the Builder's Village with a level 2 battle machine. So 70,000 70, loot bonus right there and 30 trophies. A great attack there. And I will check out this uh, OMG loot replay shared by Dylan 10 to close out the video. So, remember, this was Wars Ferret with another Clash of Clans video. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, tell your friends what you think about the channel. And remember to subscribe, comment down below what you are looking to see in the future. Look out for the future videos. Take a look at this Town Hall 8 version of the Valkyrie attack. And make sure you have a good day. Peace out. I am Nicki Minaj, I'm at them dudes up, back cooped up and drop the dudes up.